Hello, Mood here. Welcome to another art journal video. Today, I'm going to create the art journal page that you see on your screen now. I'm using my Moleskine sketchbook and I stick two pages together to make them thicker. To start with the blank page, I'm using a tissue paper by Tim Holtz. I'm going to cover both pages with this. When you want to have an instant uh, texture uh, and some interest on your page, it's a good idea to start with a tissue paper, decoupage paper or even a napkin. I'm going to stick this with my matte medium. While I do this, uh, I can also tell you the list of supplies that I am using today are down at the description area or in my blog as well as the close-up pictures of the project. For today's uh, art journal, uh, I was inspired by the color scheme that I saw in the, one of the Twilight movies, New Moon. I was watching it uh, the other day and uh, it was the cover picture actually. So uh, you know now where the inspiration is coming from. I already very much like the night scenes uh, and this was an interesting color to use. Now I am covering my pages with a light gesso just to push this background to the back to fade it out because it's very strong and also prepare my pages for the acrylic paints. Before I start the background I will show you how I created my new moon mask. This is a masking paper by Inka Dunkodu. Uh, it's a sticker, so uh, whatever uh, you don't want to paint, you use it as a masking paper. I'm using two circle dies from Tonic Studios uh, die set. And as you see, when I uh, put them on top of each other, I'm going to create a moon that is uh, in the shape of a new moon. I taped it so that uh, I don't lose the shape. And I'm just uh, cutting it through my Sizzix Big Shot machine. And as you see, it came out in the shape of a moon. And I'm going to stick this uh, on my page because uh, I want it to be totally white, not ruined by all the paint that I will put. So it's going to cover the area and uh, no paint will go into this uh, part. As usual, I'm going to build my color uh, from the lighter uh, tones to the darker ones. I started with antique linen. This is a distress paint that I am using. It is very fluid, uh, very uh, easy to apply. So I'm just uh, dabbing it with its dabber and moving it with my fingers. And this is another color, vintage photo. Uh, the colors that I will use are the tones of uh, brown. That's why I uh, found it really interesting and it was uh, looking really nice uh, on the movie cover uh, so I wanted it uh, I wanted to try it so I'm just uh, applying it with a baby wipe just to build the color from light to dark uh, as I wish and I am leaving around the moon a little bit uh, lighter uh, because uh, it's supposed to be uh, uh, giving some light uh, around And now I'm moving to a third color, Gathered Twigs. It's a darker color. I'm going a little bit cautious here, uh, leaving around the moon uh, lighter. Uh, I will darken it up if I need to later. And I'm leaving it uh, down a little bit lighter as well because I'm going to do stamping. You can always go darker very easily, but you cannot go back lighter. So uh, I'm just being uh, cautious not to ruin uh, whatever I have done. I want to create a forest scene in the middle of the night with the new moon. And I'm going to stamp some uh, branches uh, at the bottom of the page. Uh, that's why I left it a little bit open. And lastly, I'm going to apply some black uh, at the corners and bring it uh, inside with my baby wipe. This way it will uh, blend into the other colors uh, better. I 
And finally, I actually decided to uh, give more color to the bottom of my page. Uh, I think uh, it will be uh, okay to stamp there, even though I put more color. And I am also uh, completing my border with black. And I think I'm happy with the colors at the moment. I'm going to start stamping. This is a stamp set by Fiskers that has uh, some birds, bird nests and uh, branches. And I am using different colors of uh, inks that I have uh, in blues and teals and green tones. I'm going to start with this uh, cornflower blue color and stamp some branches and leaves here and there. And it's starting uh, to build my forest. Now I switch to tropical teal from my favorite uh, things uh, ink pad. Uh, and I changed my uh, branches as well. So this is what I will do all the way, uh, change the branches or leaves and change colors uh, to give some interest uh, variance uh, and uh, to build uh, the forest scene. The third color I am using is from Archival uh, again, Paradise Teal. So it's kind of a teal turquoise tones uh, that I am creating my forest with. Uh, I thought it goes very well with this uh, sepia vintage uh, background color. Now I'm choosing uh, butterflies from another Fiskars uh, stamp set. Uh, they are really beautiful, uh, so I will choose uh, two three designs. And I will stamp them uh, on a white cardstock. Uh, but first I'm coloring my paper, so that uh, coloring becomes uh, easy. I just put the colors that I used to, to stamp my uh, leaves and branches uh, and uh, I am directly stamping my butterflies on these uh, colors so that they have a color already. The butterflies I am using uh, are uh, generally uh, black heavy anyway uh, so the little parts uh, that uh, are uh, open will have these beautiful colors. And on top, to have some small butterflies, I'm using my Martha Stewart uh, Butterfly Punch, which punches three sizes of uh, butterflies very easily. Again, I am adding the same colors over and over again to my cardstock and uh, keep punching. It's always good to go around the uh, uh, borders of the butterflies to get rid of the white edges. So I did it with my Faber-Castell uh, brush pen. And I am uh, also going around the uh, little butterflies with my black distress ink uh, to make them similar to the others to add some shade of black and also get rid of the white edges. And I thought uh, around the moon was uh, a little bit uh, too light so I am uh, bringing some color. And I am going to reveal my moon now. As you see it's perfectly white, uh, looking amazing, uh, creating a very nice uh, contrast. That's the beauty of a masking uh, paper. Now I am going to stick my butterflies. I will cover uh, all the uh, page on the left side with uh, butterflies as if uh, they are coming uh, in a group. To add some dimension as well, I'm not uh, sticking them flat, only from the middle with my uh, gel, gel medium uh, so that the wings are up in the air. Also, I'm going to stamp some little birds around the moon. I'm using my Paper Artsy stamp set for this. There were these little birds. So I stamped them with uh, black archival ink uh, on the moon. This way there will be an illusion of uh, they are far far away. To bring things together I decided to stamp some uh, black branches and leaves as well because the butterflies have black, uh, the birds are black uh, and the border is black. Uh, so uh, this will bring things together better. Now I'm going to make my border uh, a little bit darker. I'm using my archival ink again. 
and just uh, going around the border with my uh, finger sponge and now it's time to stamp the sentiment this is one of my favorite uh, alphabet stamps because it has letters with uh, many sizes and I'm using the smallest one for that because the sentiment is actually a poem and it's very long and as you saw I, I didn't take you through uh, all my stamping because it looks like a poetic scenery I wanted to put uh, something that goes with this it says, uh, walk barefoot, listen to the mind, drink in the moon, be magic. I'm leaving a little bit highlights uh, with my white gel pen to my butterflies. And after the butterflies, I'm just going over the last part of my sentiment, uh, giving shadows uh, of white with my gel pen again, just to make it more visible and highlight it. I really like it when my art journals have a kind of a story and uh, the sentiment and the scenery goes uh, very well. Now I will do a little bit highlights to my uh, leaves and branches as well. And finally uh, splashes. Uh, you couldn't imagine I would leave without that. So I'm doing white and black splashes uh, just to bring the colors and the page together. And the page is finished. I really like uh, how it looks and uh, the colors of it. It's an interesting combination for a night scene. And I love the sentiment. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please don't forget to give thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. That's how I know you like my projects and I keep doing them. I also love reading your comments. Also, don't forget to share this with your friends if you like it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.